And this is the time. Uh, we certainly announced that. Now you can vote for the winner of the big award, the big prize, Net Explo 2017. Let us first look at the video with the 10 potential winners. Innovations, 2,000 innovations detected by the experts of NetExplo and universities to select the best 10. Who's that? Virtual reality. Dexmo. Yes, it is Dexmo. Augmented reality. Your MD, British innovation, diagnosis through a chat box. This is premonition for epidemics linked to uh, mosquitoes. Cure.ai, cure.ai, in uh, detecting tumors, lesions, etc., in imaging how to Indiastack, biometric passports and old data about Indian citizens, major project, the dark web, six skills. Looking at the dark web, how to reappropriate the sniffing capacity of the dogs with a 3D printer, the new Rembrandt with the colors and trends and thickness of paint, of paint by Rembrandt, this is possible. Give the power to <coughs> or empower a fishermen worldwide, Abu Dhabi and big nation, virtual identity, bit nation for refugees, all sorts of decentralized services, wherever they are. It's up to you to work. It's up to you to vote. This is the slide. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who you should vote for. I have my favorites, but uh, you have your own. So you can send a text to 0644630710 with a number of the project, one for Dexmo, two for your, for your MD, three for premonition, etc. The vote is starting. You have two minutes. And while we vote, I should like all the award winners to come up to the podium. I have begun drinking already. Could all the NetExplo laureates please come on stage? Hmm. Hmm, it's peut-être nous les laureates peut-être alors dans ce cas-là. Maybe we are the one, maybe we are the award winners. On behalf of someone. Award winners, please join us on stage. All the laureates. Okay, then I think they're in the lounge. They're in the lounge. Maybe they've broken out the champagne already. Um, en attendant, on va faire venir sur sur cette scène. Meanwhile, let's have Kerry up come and join us. He's the chair of NetExplo. Oh, here's one of the award winners. They were well organized. Hello, hello everyone. Um, I, I, I wanted to thank you before moving to the next stage. I'm very happy to see so many of you here while you're voting. Just before we reveal who the winner is, let us let me just tell you that we had immense pleasure to interact with you. Not only with the award winners who come from all over the world, but with all teams. As you know, we are hosted by UNESCO. It's not a neutral place. 
the idiosyncrasy of this choice is that we have been working with UNESCO for seven years. Over the past three years, we were at the French Senate, as was recalled yesterday. Uh, okay, the voting is over. So, suspense. Let me invite a person who was very important for us, who has been working with us over the past few years, and who is playing a very important role at UNESCO. Mr. Indrajit Banerjee, Director of Knowledge Society UNESCO. Come on In over. French, Indrajit. <laughs> Alors, une question, euh, c'est quoi la vision Une question, question, what is the vision of UNESCO on digital innovation Here, we, it seems that you cover everything. It's a very relevant question. What is very important for UNESCO is the impact of such innovation on sustainable development. As you know, the United Nations have declared 2015 to 2030 the time to reach sustainable development objectives. There are 17 objectives. What is really interesting for us, as you know, Thierry, whenever we vote for the best innovations, we really look at the impact, not technology per se, how sophisticated it is. What about the past few years and even this year? Who are the award winners that you uh, were impressed with particularly? It's a very difficult question to answer. I must say, first of all, that every year there's a whole range of innovative projects from 2000 and uh, we are in a, in a quite in a different uh, period as opposed to 2011. I like technologies that are not too expensive, too complex, but that have a wide impact. For instance, applications that save the lives of uh, fishermen in India and pedigree those that are away and pedigree was from Ghana uh, 2011 as uh, Mr. Livia was saying uh, this really identified uh, counterfeit drugs and authentic drugs this saves lots of lives what I also uh, found very interesting is that there's more and more innovation by women. There's a myth, the stereotype of women not being as creative, as active participants in the field of innovation, which is totally untrue. Yeah, unfortunately, there's too many men here uh, on the podium. But over the years, we saw quite a number of cases where we saw many innovations by women, uh, innovations that had major impact on the lives of people on development. And as you know quite well, Thierry, uh, our second priority, global priority at UNESCO is gender equality. Okay, and the last question, we have been working together in very close cooperation what is the uh, memory that left the deepest imprint uh, in your memory? What, what do you remember most? Well, it's not so easy to get this room at UNESCO, room number one. So it was rather difficult, I think. Uh, this is one of the very best uh, conference rooms in Paris, I must say this, and some heads of state come in very often, so we were forced to change dates, etc. But this time UNESCO was very generous because we consider this event to be particularly important. So these are adventures in a way that we experience together. It's wonderful that we managed to celebrate the 
10th anniversary. Let us hope there will be many uh, more anniversaries to come. Okay, we have a winner. Découvrir l'écran. The winner is Bit Nation. Je rappelle quand même que c'est un vote à 50% par les experts internationaux. 50% of the voters were international experts and 50% uh, of uh, th those in the room. Give them a big round of applause. Congratulations. I did not expect this at all. <laughs> um, I appreciate everyone for being here and the opportunity. Some people have really amazing ideas mm -hmm. and I don't want this to like overshadow that at all. Um, and I just want to thank all the beautiful people who have volunteered there, you know, hundreds and thousands of hours uh, towards developing BitNation and bringing it to where it is now. I mean, it just shows what decentralization can do if you just open the gateways for people to contribute without, you know, looking at to their background or anything else. Um, yeah, I really appreciate this. Thank God, parents, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. Et bravo à tous les bravo à tous les autres lauréats. Je voudrais qu'on fasse une congratulations uh, to all the other award winners. They also deserve a huge round of applause. We were saying this morning uh, that this is uh, a potentially unlimited uh, innovation, to, uh, and this is exactly it. Well, uh, we've almost finished. Um, we're nearly done. Good luck. All the best. Uh, and it's time for a concert that we will all listen together to conclude this session. To. Alors, voilà un moment...